uh, I write it by myself. And uh, this one is a tic-tac-toe. Uh, we have uh, the one that like alpha and gamma, the one that we used in all previous video clips. Uh, and this one is, you can like, no worry, this is end game function to check that this is the end game position or not. That is someone already won the game. Uh, so the reward is if someone already won um, this one, uh, we have the turn like uh, one and two. Uh, if if one is one, uh, in this case, our computer will be like uh, start by one, and this one is two. This is the opposite side, uh, and we have the max action. Uh, but this one is like uh, the position to try to help uh, one to win. Okay, so uh, and this one, uh, the update uh, state is same as the one that we did before. Okay, oh, and it try to move uh, to also try to help one to win. So look at this. I uh, learn by playing by themselves uh, for one hundred thousand rounds, uh, 100,000 iterations, and then this is the, the, the state and try to ask uh, the from the queue table. So yes, it's already finished here. So I will start with the start state here. Okay, so you can see that uh, from the first step, uh, if zero means no, the this is the empty board and empty board. So in any in any position, it can win or lose. So if I mm, if I put one here, so look at this. Uh, for two, it can it can place in any any position. For example, if you place two here. So you can see that uh, if you if if one if you place one at location four, the values of Q is higher than or seven. Where is four? This is zero. One, two, three, four. So it means that if you place at the middle. So if you place one here, you will get. this board and you can see that this is two right if two if you put two in the first position it means that here so one we one number one will win right or three three means this one or five five mean here or six six also here but if you put two in seven seven is the the um the chance to win to uh, for one to win is lower than other yes that's true so maybe you can try to put uh somewhere in seven for example put two here and then now now uh you have to put one here or three or five but if you put one here the chance to win is lower than other position same as uh, but this one is also in a good position so if you want to try you can put one at uh, number six uh, number seven number eight so this one is the result so you can see that if you put a uh, two in location zero the chance that one will win is 511 but if you put two here if you put two here or two here or here 
the chance that one will win is very high. Okay, uh, this is one example. And this one, the code is a little bit complicated. It used the minimax idea from AI. So uh, I I think uh, I won't uh, I won't tell I won't explain about the code. Uh, but I just want to show how does it work. Actually, it's same uh, same way that you train, but uh, it used random for the first one. Uh, for the first example, it used the random number, but in this case, it used uh, in the case that if uh, the it's in the range of epsilon, uh, it will use the values from from the minimax algorithm. So uh, this one is almost uh, same as previous, but it is much better. So we can start. OK, this is the one. So you can see that uh, here, uh, if you if you put if you put uh, one in location zero, the top left one, or top right, or uh, yeah, that one, uh, they want you to put in top left. Yes, this one. And you can see now, if you put two in uh, location 7. 7 is here. The chance that one will win is very high. But if you put 2 at 4, the chance that one will win is very low. Same as 1. Okay. Four, four, or 1 is here. If you put 2 here, or if you put 4 here, but if you put, uh, for example, if we if try like, uh, if we try like uh, to put two at seven, okay. So we put two at seven. This is seven. Let's try. Oh, sorry, two at seven, not seven. This one. So you can see if if you put one at location four, uh, one will win. So location four is here. So this is one is here. So uh, you can see that in any location, uh, one will win. The values is much very very high, but uh, you can keep it a little bit lower if you put two in location eight. That try to uh, slow down number one to win. Okay, so I hope that you can see, and uh, I don't think that you can understand the code, but. Uh, this is the one that I wrote, and I think that it can be very, very good example that you can see that we like uh, just let them play something with themselves, and uh, you can get the good reason, the good result. Uh, the AI system can play the tic tac toe without training uh, any other rules. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, this is the end of the this series. See you guys.